Hello guys, West Country Explorer here. Uh, today I'm going to go for a little stroll from Shaftesbury to the Star of Provost and back. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of recording on the way there, do a little video. So if you fancy joining me, come along and watch and see where I'm going to. Uh, this video I am recording still on my mobile phone rather than me camcorder. If you want to know sort of more of the reasons why I'm doing that. I'll put a bit of an explanation in the description so rather than bore you with a long intro. But anyway guys, yes, I'm off to style Provost. So come along for the ride and enjoy the views. Good old Shaftesbury Town Centre. The town hall's got a lot of scaffolding around it at the moment. Be nice when that's gone, be a bit more photogenic then. And here we've got some of the magnificent views from the Castle Hill area of Shaftesbury. So absolutely gorgeous. Some amazing views from up here. St. James's Church there. That's the church that I go to as often as I can when I'm not working. Uh, I've got to work some Sundays because of my shift pattern. But Sundays that I don't work, you can find me in St. James's at one of their services. Uh, back along in that direction, you've got the old Two Brewers pub. They've uh, recently been taken over by new owners, like new sort of tenants. The old tenants did a lovely job there. Good pub. And if you like Anglican church services, this is a good church to go to, St James. One of the many things that life has taught me is that you can often get magnificent views from a field gate. Just walking along, spot field gate, and more often than not, you've got an opportunity to just stop, lean against the gate, and enjoy magnificent views like this. Oh yes, absolutely lovely. Good old Duncliffe Woods there, on Duncliffe Hill. If you like woods, that's a lovely place to go exploring. Unsurprisingly, it's very wet and muddy underfoot coming through Duncliffe Wood. <laughs> all the rain we've had lately I mean today it's a dry sunny day but yesterday when I was at work absolute flipping torrential rain quite a lot of the time it was like proper mucky wet weather yesterday all good fun on the subject of work as you guys know from some of my recent episodes like videos and that there was a period at work where it was all like pretty stressful and all the rest and I got signed off for a week with like work related stress but this last week, the, my first week back since being signed off for a week hasn't been too bad sort of management and HR they've actually sort of given me people like given people who can actually do the job to work with me and yeah it's made a big difference, so it's all going good. And next week, I've got a new starter joining the team. So as of next week, because at, at the moment I'm temp, I am at the moment officially the only person on my shift. So next week we'll be back up to the giddy heights of two people. So let's see what the new starter's like. Yeah, the last new starter we had, he did one shift and 
never came back. His reason for not coming back being it was too cold. I mean, we were, I work in the cold store. What did that guy expect? Tropical weather. <laughs> the cold store was too cold for him. So this new starter, if he's what, if he wants to beat that record of a short sort of rain, he's got to leave during the first day. So <laughs> hopefully he lasts a bit longer than that. So all good. Things. So at the moment, not too bad at work. So yeah. I'm sort of back, more back to my old self again, which is nice, which is nice. It's another shot of the beautiful scenery, guys. Oh, this is why I love getting out on walks in the countryside. It never, ever fails to inspire me and just make me happy. Ah, here we come to a slightly hidden little pathway. Ooh, ooh, ah, just bust my elbow on the fence post, gate post. Not nice. That's a quite a nice little hidden path, this. All good fun. Just coming into Star of Provost now. Still got the micro museum. Open this up. Yeah, that's uh, lots of information. A nice little entrance gate, sort of archway. It's quite a nice little walk up to the church as well. I vaguely remember what the church looks like inside. From what I vaguely remember, I think it's quite nice in there. Uh, it's locked at the moment, so I can't go in. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take you down this way. Because I do remember... Down this pathway at the end is an interesting little sign. Ooh, uh, ooh, come on through here. An interesting little right of way act. Access permitted for those on foot, perambulator, and bath chairs at their own risk. <laughs> Don't think you get many bath chairs nowadays. Sort of the centre of the village here. Very nice. All these cars kind of spoil it a little bit, but can't odds that. A necessary evil of the modern day. Cars. Well, that's the footpath that leads to the mill area of Stara Provost and as you can see there's quite a lot of flooding around here I don't think well actually I know for a fact I ain't gonna get to the mill area I don't fancy tackling that probably not all that deep but I just don't want to get wet feet or anything So that was a nice little walk from Shaftesbury to Star of Provost. I said, unfortunately, couldn't get to the down to the mill to do recording, but I'm not too surprised that there's a bit of flooding because we've had a heck of a lot of rain lately. So yeah, 
lots of water everywhere well guys thank you for joining me on this little walk hope you've enjoyed look forward to seeing you in the next video and in the meantime the usual stay safe take care and god bless <laughs>